Edible Bakers. This week we are upping our microwave game and creating quick and easy single serving cheesecakes made in the microwave. There is no mixer needed, it cooks under one minute and there's a flavour for everyone. So let's get started. These cheesecake mug cakes cook very differently to my other mug cakes, but I'm going to give you tips throughout the video to guarantee you successful cheesecakes every time. So let's get started by making our cheesecake base. We're going to mix our base in a large bowl because I want to get in there with a whisk and get some nice air into the batter. In your bowl, add in your cream cheese, yogurt, or you can use sour cream, sugar, egg whites, vanilla extract, and lastly we're going to add in our flour. Now you can't leave out the flour because it actually binds the cheesecake and stops it going watery in the microwave. So if you want to use a gluten-free flour or maybe like a nut flour to bind it, that will work really well too. Then simply mix all these ingredients together until there's no lumps. Lovely. As you can see, the mix has actually thickened up a bit. You can create kind of this ribbon and also there's no more lumps and that's what you're going for. Now that I've got my base made, I can make a variety of flavors, but I'm gonna start out with something that is always very popular on this channel, and that's an Oreo cheesecake. In a microwave and mug, we're going to add in some crushed Oreo cookies. My favorite part of a cheesecake is the base, so feel free to add as much cookies as you like. In a separate bowl, add your cheesecake base. To your base, add in your crushed Oreos. And then simply fold the two together. Then just scoop your cheesecake into your prepared mug. I like to ripple in the Oreo so it looks really good. So it's time to bake off our first cheesecake. The timing that I give you is based on my microwave, which is 1200 watts, so your timing might vary. We are going to cook this at 15 second intervals. As you can see, it's still really wobbly and there's no bubbles forming on the top. So we're gonna put it in for another 15 seconds. It has been 45 seconds and our cheesecake is done. You can tell because there's a few bubbles on the top Around the edge, it's a little bit of a different color and you can see that it's firmer. Then in the middle, it is still quite jiggly. But don't worry, that's exactly what you want. It's not undercooked because now we're gonna let this cool down and then put it in the fridge for two hours. And when it sets up, there will be no more jiggle. All you will have is just beautiful, smooth cheesecake. It's been two hours, so I'm gonna check on my cheesecake to make sure that they're nice and chilled. Okay, this is the moment of truth. Push down in the middle. And if it's firm, you've got a perfect cheesecake. To decorate your cheesecake, I'm going to pipe some Oreo cream on top. And then add on a little mini Oreo. And this is my favorite part, the time that you get to taste all of your hard work. And I get to show you why it's so great to make cheesecake in the microwave. So check it out. You can see that the cheesecake actually has the same texture as a baked cheesecake, but way less work. It is gorgeous. It has the same tanginess that you have in a cheesecake and the sweet chocolatey Oreos. I'm not gonna stop here because I've got more to show you, so let's move on to our next one. One way to make these cheesecakes even more decadent and rich than they already are is by adding a little bit of chocolate. So our next flavor up is Nutella cheesecake. In a microwave mug, we're going to add in our Oreo cookie crumbs. Now I'm using Oreo cookies, but feel free to use graham crackers or even digestive biscuits. They will all work great. In a separate bowl, add in some Nutella. Then we're just gonna whisk it up really fast to make it nice and loose. Then, just like before, add in your cheesecake base. And then all we're gonna do is whisk them both together until there's no lumps. Now just pour your cheesecake into your prepared mug. Cheesecake number two is ready for the microwave. After the first 15 seconds, you can see it's still really jiggly, so we're gonna put it in for another 15. Our Nutella cheesecake is done and it smells amazing. Now this cake actually took 15 seconds longer than the first one. That's why it's really important to cook them gently, keep an eye on them, and look for the telltale signs that I showed you. Just like the other one, there's a tiny few bubbles along the top. And once you get that all over one big jiggle, that's when you know it's done. Because when you put it in the fridge and it goes cold, it'll be lovely and smooth the whole way through. It's been two hours and our Nutella cheesecake is set. To decorate, I'm gonna pipe on some whipped cream mixed with Nutella and top it off with some toasted hazelnuts. Look at that. I love this cheesecake because it's that little bit richer. I think it'd be great for dinner parties and having friends over. You can see from the texture, it's kind of mousse-like and that's why we cook it so carefully so it stays nice and smooth. This hits a lot of notes for me. It's sweet, it's creamy, it's chocolatey, it's cheesecakey. Now let's move on to another great flavor. I have a theory that a lot of things can be made better with sprinkles and this next flavor is no exception. It is Funfetti Cheesecake. In a microwave mug, I'm going to add in my graham cracker cookie crumbs. In a separate bowl, add in your cheesecake base. To this, we are going to add our brightly colored sprinkles. 
and then very gently mix in the sprinkles. You don't want to mix them too much because you don't want them to bleed. And then just like the others, pour your batter into your prepared mug. Because I love to see the sprinkles, I'm gonna add a few extra on top. Because this cheesecake base already has vanilla in it, once you add the sprinkles, it really looks and tastes like funfetti cake. Another fantastic flavor ready for the microwave. Now we already know how to cook them, so we're just gonna follow the same guidelines as before. Look at this, not only does it smell beautiful and full of vanilla, it looks fantastic too. So we're gonna do our jiggle test to see if it's done. You can see that the edges aren't moving and the jiggle is mostly in the middle. At any point when you're cooking your mug cakes, if you see it start to bubble, then stop the microwave straight away because it's getting too hot. Our funfetti cheesecake is set, so now it's time to decorate it. Now, pipe on some whipped cream, and of course, you can add more sprinkles on top. I love how you can make so many desserts funfetti because it's one of my favorite flavors. This flavor did not fail. The sprinkles look beautiful, it's sweet. There's a gorgeous taste of vanilla. I think these all might be my new favorite mug cakes. With the variety that I showed you, you've got a flavor for everyone. So make sure you try them out and enjoy. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing to my channel. I'll see you back here every Thursday for more Bigger Boulder Baking.